Hey guys, welcome to Voice Bootcamp. This is Faisal Khan, Cisco Collaboration Instructor at voicebootcamp.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your own action element. Now imagine if you want to have your own personalized action element that does a specific task based on your requirement. Now, this is not something that will be available uh, on, uh, let's say, any website or anything. It is something that only may be specific to your organizations. And your element will be available as a part of your element uh, in your element uh, palette where you can drag and drop to any applications where you want to apply this file. Now, keep in mind, they, in order for you to do that, they, you will have to learn a little bit of Java programming. Again, I am not a Java programmer. I, uh, I I mean, I do not personally know a lot about Java, but I'm enough to get around. And I'm going to show you just enough where you can create your own framework, uh, an escalated version of the element, and then do a very basic coding to get whatever the values you're looking for. Now, again, this is this may not be a fully functional uh, element that you may be wanting to be able to use a production, but at least it will give you, give you an idea where to get started. Now, in order to create that, you're going to create use various uh, element uh, actional uh, APIs. For example, your element will be based on action element base. Now, we have already seen how an action uh, Java Java API that works with action, but this one going to create very similar to that, but with an interface that allows you to drag and drop within your call studio. We're going to use element interface, which uh, basically allows you to create this, uh, sorry, uh, this little um, element uh, within your tree. Now, obviously, this action base, uh, this API will have various method, uh, Java class like do action, get element name, uh, get dis display folder name, description, get settings, and element data. So I will walk you through step by step how to get started with your own element. So let's get, st let's get started. All right, so I'll start with creating a very basic call studio project. we will call this my element, my um, custom element. And follow by creating a Java project for that because the element is going to be created in Java. So I'm going to go to new. We're going to say other, uh, sorry, project. We're going to click on Java project. And it's going to be my custom element underscore Java. Now the Java project, I'm going to add a